that doesn't get your heart racing or blood bumping, well, you're probably a grown-ass adult who doesn't play video games and has real responsibilities, like working and paying bills. This nigga climbing up in trees and shit, talking about, you don't climb trees? No, motherfucker, we got bills and shit! Here's my review for Devil May Cry 5. Since the release of Resident Evil 7 in 2017, Capcom has been on an incredible roll, releasing great game after great game. Devil May Cry 5 is no exception, and I really thought nothing would top DMC 3 as the best in the series, but I can happily say, not only is DMC 5 the best in the series, it may be the most fun Capcom game I have ever played. DMC5 takes place after the events of DMC4. Capcom wisely chose to forget about the DMC reboot made by Ninja Theory, which is a solid but misunderstood game. It's just not a Devil May Cry game. Nero and Dante return to save the world from the most powerful demon ever named Uruzen that threatens to destroy the world as we know it. They are joined by a mysterious ally named V, who controls very differently than any DMC character you have ever played with. He also looks like the love child of Pete Wentz and Kylo Ren. <laughs> you start off the game by playing as Nero. He has a few cool new upgrades. First, he has different prosthetic attachments for his right arm that can be used as a grappling hook or deal explosive damage to enemies. The combat is just like past DMC games. You are graded based on the number of outrageous combos you achieve on enemies. The more combos you land, the higher your grade becomes, and the more red orbs you receive. Red orbs are the currency you use to upgrade your character abilities, and unlocking more moves for the various weapons you'll get throughout the game, just as past DMC games. After you complete the first few missions as Nero, you will get to play as V. He is very different from Dante and Nero. V controls three demons, a crow, a panther, and a giant rock monster, and you attack with those demons, not V. V basically stands back and orders the demons to attack while he sits back and reads a book of poetry. Yeah, you heard me right, a book of poetry. I understand why Capcom wanted to shake things up and include a playable character like this, but ultimately it didn't work for me. V plays interestingly, but I feel his controls are way too button mashy. When you reach the halfway point of the game, you finally play as Dante. What can I say about Dante that hasn't been said already? He's even more badass than you remember him. He has a few new toys this time such as a demon motorcycle that he splits in half to use as swords, nunchucks, and a hat that you chuck at enemies while doing stylish damage with your firearms. Did I mention Dante moonwalks with the hat on? Yeah, this game is more outrageous and fun than the previous outings. There are 20 missions in the game, with 12 optional secret missions that are more like challenge rooms. 
It took me about 16 hours to finish the game, but I was aggressively searching for secrets in each mission. So expect around 12 to 14 hours to complete the game. For me, this was a perfect length because you can replay missions as many times as you want to grind more red orbs to upgrade the characters as well as a new game plus. There are only a couple of nitpicks that I have with the game overall. The level design for the missions really gets stale in the last third of the game. There really isn't any diversity. You're just going down a tower the last third of the game and the missions look very similar to one another. The other nitpick is some of the characters from past DMC games really don't have a lot to do with the story, and they take a backseat. The game is worth every penny though. It looks great, the music in the game is awesome, especially the main theme, Devil Trick. And it really is just a badass action game. Capcom really did a remarkable job with this game. They accomplished closing out Dante's story while making Nero so badass, ushering in a new era like for the franchise. Capcom is back, baby. But based on his research, I, I managed to cobble this. Um, it, it, consider it a gift in honor of us finally meeting. Um, meeting. I'll take that. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Thanks for watching.